One of the most important months of gaming is here, the spoopy month of horror games. There are countless of horror games released every single year, especially for solo players. But what about multiplayer games? Today, I'm going to show you five multiplayer horror games perfect to get your adrenaline pumping with your friends. These horror games all require teamwork, but Outlast Trials takes it to the next level. Outlast heard our request for an equally horrifying experience to play with our friends, and they delivered. During the Cold War, you and your friends were recruited by the Murkoff Corporation to undergo extreme experiments of brainwashing and mind control. In order to earn your freedom, you and your friends undergo therapy sessions put together by the Murkoff Corporation. You and your friends will, in best Outlast style, be placed at a certain location where more than one opponent is hunting you down. They will test your skills and sanity as you hide, solve puzzles, and fight for survival in grotesque tasks making you question your own sense of humanity. As you progress through your tasks and complete therapy sessions, you will earn points and currency you can spend on character skills, outfit upgrades, and even interior design for your own cell. But we might as well make it pink and cozy while we're here. If you enjoy the constant thrill of being hunted, our next game, Devour, is right up your alley. In Devour, you and your friends are set out to hunt down cultists and stop them from awakening the demon goat guard Azazel, who in each map have possessed a being, transforming them into horrible, deformed, yet extremely powerful beings, all with their own set of abilities. To banish Azazel, you must in each map complete a sequence of rituals. These can be burning spider eggs and even burning baby goats. But beware, you are never alone in these maps. Because not only is the demon present at all time in this map hunting you down, it can also summon smaller demonic entities, all set out to slow you and even down you, or room it to revive you before you can continue. Every time you perform a ritual, the demon becomes stronger and will hunt you down faster and longer. To higher chance of survival, Coordinate with your friends, be sure to use the UV lamp to dispel the, the demon entities, and work fast. What horror game list would be without a ghost hunting game? Not this one. I present Demonologist. As a Phasmophobia player myself, I can assure you, Demonologist cranked up the horror factor. And I'm not talking only hunts, but also creepy events, causing you to hallucinate bloody entities, entire room changes, and spine-chilling vocal interactions from the ghost. As you and your team work together to identify the ghost with the variety of tools for ghost hunting at your disposal, you have to be cautious of the words leaving your mouth the entire time, because your microphone is on at all times in the game. Meaning you can trigger events and unlock new areas by saying certain words in specific locations. And yes, some of them are terrifying. If you manage to survive long enough of the ghost taunts and hunting to actually identify it, you have the option of exercising the entity, which will give you additional cash. This cash you can spend on unlocking new maps for you to ghost hunt, outfits, tools of course, and even pets that will roam your lobby as you prepare for your next mission. Keep an eye out on the pets though. They tend to get very hungry if you're too slow preparing for your next mission. Next game offers two different game modes. One is the classic story experience, and two is for the hardcore horror enthusiasts, Case Files. In Case Files, your map will change every single time you enter, making it impossible for you to predict how to escape beforehand. In Labyrinthine, communication with your teammates is key. You and your team will spawn in the maze of Happysburg with the quest of figuring out how the F you get out of here. In order for you to survive, you solve puzzles scattered all around the maze. All while being the victim of both small and cute scares, but also big blood-calling ones. Remember, you are not alone in this maze. Bloodthirsty enemies of all kinds are lurking and roaming the maze the same time as you. And now it is time for you to become the monster. In Project Playtime, one person is randomly at the start of each level chosen to become the monster itself and hunt down your friends. The goal for both teams are very simple. Survivors must complete a range of tasks and puzzles that are all very, very noisy to retrieve parts needed for the train to respawn and lead you back to safety. And as the monster, 
Your goal is to kill everyone before they reach the train and leave. Survivors must quickly learn how and where to hide, sneak and keep your cool as nothing will make you scream bloody murder as seeing or hearing the monster close to you. Mommy long legs, huggy wuggy, boxy boo, all of them are guaranteed to make your skin crawl. Which monster will you choose to become?